All right, so amidst all the yapping on yesterday's two DevNote reaction videos, there was some stuff that I left out that just couldn't fit into it. There was actually a lot of information in the DevNote. And so what I wanted to cover is these two things right here. The first of which is the May update hero. So as we know, next week we're getting Echo Tier 4 on Tuesday slash Wednesday, which is the 23rd, 24th. Um, and then I think... I think what's going to happen is we're going to see sneak peek starting on the 25th and then we're going to get the next update a week later which is really nice so we're going to get the next update after that the, the may full may update i think that's going to be the 30th slash the first of may i could be wrong it could be the seventh slash the eighth um but yeah that's that's basically what we're looking at we're looking at either the 30th or the seventh um for the may update and so the may update is going to be they say right here the next May update will target heroes, heroes plural, from the hero update poll event held last December. Future updates will also be made based on the results of the hero update voting event, so please stay tuned. So they're basically saying for the rest of the year now, we're going to get characters and uniforms and updates from that hero update poll event. Now, for those of you that don't recall, and I don't blame you, it was all the way in December, this was the these were the, the results of the poll okay so the poll here looks something like this um <laughs> this was the poll that we memed on pretty hard for its um uh, sussiness I, I, for lack of a better term so yeah sentry first makes sense war machine second doesn't make sense null third makes sense and then 4 through 15 also don't make any sense. So, but anyways, it is what it is. We're not going to talk about this again. We're not going to rehash this. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, Psylocke, Hulk, Quicksilver, Doom, Apocalypse, Agent Venom, Emma Frost, Weapon Hex, Anti-Man, Medusa, and Crescent. So, yes, I do believe that these were faked. That these, this, this poll was fudged and that... Um, you know, these are just these were made up in advance uh, because they, they were having updates for these characters planned in the future. However, seeing this list here and knowing that the May update for sure is going to land on heroes from this event. And it's by the way, it's multiple heroes. Um, I'm actually kind of puzzled, so I don't actually know it, because they say heroes. I'm inclined to believe that it's at least two. So because I'm inclined to believe that it, the believe that it's at least two, my immediate reaction was, OK, it's going to be Doom and Mr. Fantastic right? It's it's absolutely possible. It's Doom and Mr. Fantastic. We see how heavily the devs are targeting native tier two, tier fours. You know, the last like six updates have had so many of them um, that it's, it's, you know, it's overwhelming. So that's, that's definitely one of my biggest one here. My next thought was going to say, oh, I was going to say Quicksilver and Apocalypse because they're both world bosses, right? They're both world bosses. Now, if, if Scarlet Witch were here, I think it would be a much easier choice to, to pick Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver together because they're brother and sister. But I still think Quicksilver and Apocalypse are worth mentioning. And frankly, also Psylocke, because they're all mutants, right? I know that Quicksilver isn't a mutant in the game, but he is a mutant for all other intents and purposes. It's kind of awkward. But yeah, um, but yeah, Apocalypse and Psylocke are mutants. Emma Frost is a mutant as well. Technically, Weapon Hex is a mutant. But yeah, I don't know. She doesn't, she doesn't quite count. Um, I don't really know what to make of Medusa, Anti-Man, Crescent, Hulk, uh, and Agent Venom. I really don't see how they factor into an update. Um, and I, I honestly don't see how War Machine factors into an update. The only other one that I think is a big shoe in is the possibility for Sentry and Null. Yeah, I think it's I think it's definitely possible that they finally show us a native tier three, tier four. They've been sort of building up to it with the native tier two, tier fours. And we know that Sentry and Null, you know, they got a lot going for them. They got they got a lot in common. We did that whole thing when they first came out where their character icons look so similar and there's like a gif of them like fading into one another so i could definitely see them doing like vo void sentry void sentry uniform in tier four and then something for null um or i could see you know what now that i'm thinking about it i could see a null update with agent venom because they're both symbiotes right so there's a lot here but obviously you know apocalypse dr doom um sentry and null those are all native tier two and native tier three the you know so there's a lot here. Oh, and, and Quicksilver, right? So almost half of the characters, right? Are and, and of course Mr. Fantastic. Uh so one, two, three, four, five, six. So six out of the fifteen are um native tier two or native tier three. That's that's absolutely massive. So 
I would recommend if I were you and, and, and you were about to pull the trigger on a tier four, I would say don't do that. My advice to you is don't tier four anyone right now. I would wait and see what the sneak peeks are going to be. Because like I said, we could be seeing sneak peeks next week. I can't exactly remember if the Gwenpool update, sorry, the, the Spider Gwen update lasted one week or two weeks. But we're either going to start seeing sneak peeks on the 24th, 25th of March, of April, sorry. Um, or we're going to start seeing them on the 1st, 2nd of um, May. That's not that far away, right? That's less than two weeks away. So my advice to you, unless you absolutely have to tier four a character, you know, I mean, I guess if the character, I will say this, if the character you're, you're going to tier four is part of this thing, then yeah, sure, keep keep going, right? If you're already like halfway through tier fouring a character through this upgrade support thing, I would say, sure, go ahead. But if you're not, if you're just hoarding resources to then just one shot a character, I would say wait, because we don't know what this new content is going to bring. And as much as I want to tell you that if they do sentry or they do null, maybe they're going to be PVP only. We have no idea, right? We have no way of knowing. And whether they're going to be just PVP or, or PVE and PVP, they're going to be really strong. They're going to be really, really, really strong. So yeah, I wouldn't want to miss out on potentially tier four in one of these bad boys. The rest of these guys, I don't know, like, you know, it's possible that Apocalypse is just a replacement for Dr. Octopus in Combat Villain. It's possible that Dr. Doom is this and that. It's possible that Quicksilver is this and that, right? The, the native tier twos, I'm not as like, you know, alarm bells for. But even if there's a 5% chance that they're going to do sentry and null, or even just, just sentry, by the way, even just sentry, um, you want to you wanna jump on that. You want to jump on that one. So by the same token, I would say finish his epic quest, right? If you if you didn't do the epic quest for Sentry, finish it. I wouldn't say get his gears to 25. You can leave his gears at 20 because we know infamously the epic quest does not get his gears to 25. Leave them at 20 just in case he doesn't get anything so you don't sink a bunch of gold and a bunch of CCF into those gears. But I would definitely, definitely finish that epic quest and get all your ducks in a row because it seems like they're going big. You know, they're, they're, they're dropping a new PvP. They're dropping a new multiplayer game mode. They're going to be making changes to PvP. You know, we don't know what else they could be doing. It seems like they got a lot loaded up for the rest of the year, which is which is nice. You know, I'm, I'm excited for that. And it seems like my guess is the rest of the year is going to ramp up. Because not only do they say the next update, but they say future updates as well will be based on the results of the hero pool. So what I'm saying is that there's basically a 100% chance at some point this year, right, between now and the end of the year, there's a one, there's almost a 100% chance, it's like a 90% chance that these three characters get tier four. Sentry, War Machine, and Null. So it's obviously time for Teddy Two Gloves to get back in the driver's seat and start farming MFF for sure. And then from there, I mean, these three are obviously a shoe in because they're first, second, and third. Beyond that, I would say I still think like maybe maybe up to 10th place. Maybe, maybe, a, maybe up to 10th place is a shoe in, right? The only one that I'm sort of questioning is Hulk because he doesn't have tier four, right? Hulk, Hulk already has tier four. None of these guys have tier four. So Hulk kind of stands out to me as an awkward one. Maybe he's just going to get a new uniform. Who knows? Obviously, he can't get like a tier five or some shit like that. Um, they already gave Thanos a new uniform. So maybe they're going to give Hulk a new uniform, right? They, they want to double down on these characters. Maybe they're going to do something cringe and give Hulk like a seasonal uniform. I hate to say it and speak it into existence, but it's possible. Um, yeah, these guys, I think, could be like a red herring. You know, 11 through 15 could be like a red herring for sure. I don't know. But I think the I think it's almost a shoe in for the top 10, at least the top nine. I don't know. Again, Agent Venom, not that popular. So it could be a red herring as well. But I think it's 100% Apocalypse, Quicksilver, Doom, Hulk, Psylocke, Mr. Fantastic, War Machine, Sentry, and Null. I think it's, by, again, by the end of the year. Not, not, I'm not talking about the very next update. I'm just talking about by the end of the year. Um, but again, that's you're talking about one, two native tier threes, and then one, two, three, four native tier twos. That's a lot of resources, bro. Like you saw Gladiator took me 9,000. Yeah, bro. If you get unlucky, 9, 18, 27. That's almost 30,000 carbonadium on three clowns, right? I, I'm, not, I'm not saying you would want a tier four fantastic doom and apoc but who knows maybe you do a lot of cool characters a lot of cool characters so unless sent unless uh echo is insanely uh, op um i'm probably not gonna tier four i'm probably gonna skip her i'm probably gonna be hoarding for these guys you know these these atomic bombs i do want to tier four the majority of these characters 
I even want a tier four Quicksilver. I think he's really cool. I think he's underrated. I think he was really strong at one point, and I think he's going to return to the meta uh, if he does get it, indeed get a tier four this year, which is what I'm predicting. I think he's going to clap dick. And and also, I will just remind you guys that they're not on this list, but if Quicksilver is getting a tier four, I think there's a better than 50% chance that Scarlet Witch gets a tier four. I think they're going to try to pair them together, you know? So I just keep, <laughs> just keep that in mind, right? Just keep that in mind. It's, it, again, all speculation on my part, 100% speculation, but I could definitely see them pulling some shenanigans like that unless they do like a Vision Scarlet Witch Tier 4 at some other time, right? And they keep those two lovebirds together. It's obviously possible, but I'm just putting it out there as an alternative. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the May Update Celebration live stream Q&A. So they're doing an unusual thing here where they're asking for Q&A ahead of time. Now, I'm only mentioning this for two reasons. One, um, 20 people who are chosen with good questions can win 200 crystals. Um, I don't know if it's actually good questions or if it's random, so it might just be the luck of the draw. 200 crystals is not very good. You get more from the content creators giving the 300 crystal coupon giveaways, but it's something. The other thing I want to talk about is the actual Q&A itself. Holy shit, it's really lame. Um, if you go over to the link, and the link is right here in the, uh, in the dev note, the link says, you know, please enter your ID, your player ID, sure, whatever. And then it's just fill out if you have any questions related to Marvel, like the, the Marvel, the entity, right? Like, oh, when are we going to get a, you know, when are we going to get a Loki God of Stories uh, uniform look in MFF? But that's not even about Marvel. That's about MFF, right? So this kind of, I don't even know what they want. I don't know. And then the next one is fill out if you have any questions related to Marvel Future Fight. Yeah. So I guess that would just go here. I don't know. And then the last one is that my camera is blocking is fill out if you have any other questions not related to Marvel or Marvel Future Fight, I guess. Um, hey, 3RL, what is your favorite uh, pizza topping? Mine is pineapple. I can't type. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I mean, listen, on the one hand, I get it. It's just a QA. and a It's not a serious thing. On the other hand, this kind of this kind of smells like low effort. I don't know. I understand that it's supposed to be open-ended. I get that, but it just seems so sad. I don't know. They could have like spruced up this page or something with some like graphics or something. I don't know. This looks this looks so sad, dude. This looks like something HR sends you at your job. You know, it just looks so sad. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I just, yeah, I just, it gives me, it gives me like liminal vibes. Um, so yeah, submit that, maybe win 200 crystals and then, um, you can use those 200 crystals to get tier four, <laughs> get piped on your tier four enhancement. No, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's about it. Um, don't forget to collect your items from the dev note in the, um, tab. What is it? The, um, the notice tab. Yeah. Don't forget to go to the notice tab. Let me just remind you guys here, go to the notice tab and go to the developer note. If you open it here. You can collect your Odin's Blessing, your free four-star artifact, which is crazy, and the new Vibranium gift chest. Really nice rewards, I must say, for a dev note. A lot better than I expected, but um, but yeah. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of basically the devs revealing that these are going to start, you know, these these Oppenheimers are going to start dropping on us. Yeah. When do you think the big, the big native tier three, tier fours are going to start dropping? Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.